everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Haley if you're new here I think it's been since September since I last vlogged so this is gonna be a vlog that goes over a couple weeks but I wanted to document the process of some more of those like finishing off D4 moments coming up tomorrow we have our D4 OSCE which is kind of like a graduation competency exam of our overall clinical knowledge across all of the disciplines and it's short answer based with 12 different case scenarios again covering all of the disciplines of dentistry all of the situations you could encounter and making diagnoses and decisions that will safely treat patients so that's what i've been reviewing for all day today's sunday i've got my football gear on of course even though i'm not participating out there with my roommates of watching the game because i have to study but after that we will have Thanksgiving break and then jump back into my week of prepping for two parts of CDCA. My CDCA OSCE, which is kind of similar to what we're taking tomorrow, except it's multiple choice based, put on by state licensing. And then the next day I have to do my retake for my endo section of the CDCA because I did fail that first attempt, which I talked about in a podcast episode. And oh my goodness, fingers crossed is a pass because that has been an emotional toll on me, I will say. Day. but we can talk about that as the video goes but I just wanted to intro it say hello welcome back to the channel subscribe if you're not already and let's get into a very realistic honest vlog of D4 life good morning it is the Monday after Thanksgiving Pretty much took that whole Tuesday night through Sunday night off of any studying. I probably did maybe an hour or two hours total of reviewing the Quizlet for this exam during that time, but that's really it. A little bit over break and then a little bit last night, but I mostly just let myself relax. It's around 6.40 in the morning and I'm getting ready to go into a 7 a.m. bar. These 7 a.m. classes are a little bit rushed. I basically get home, change, and leave, so I already ate my breakfast. I'm gonna do like a protein coffee to go instead of like making a coffee, so little things like that to keep the morning quicker. My lunch is ready to go. It's a frozen Trader Joe's lunch, so I don't really have anything that I need to put together when I get back, which is really the only way I can make this class work. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to do a class that's this close to when I need to leave for clinic, which is usually around 8.15 at the latest is when I try to wait for a bus because sometimes there's a little bit of a wait and then the actual bus ride itself, and then I need to set up. So I have a patient every single session this week some sessions double patients so it's gonna be really crazy this is what the schedule kind of looks like as you've seen in other vlogs schedules change a lot so not even worth walking it through right now but today's plan for a crown delivery and this is like my third appointment for it because it didn't fit last time so we did a new impression and are having the lab remake it so we'll see what happens there the afternoon appointment i am doing some restorations that are kind of those last hope for a teeth restorations mandibular anterior only a little bit of dentition remaining patient really wants to hold on to the teeth so it's an understanding that these are not ideal nor are they really long-lasting restorations. They just aren't quite ready to say goodbye to those teeth yet. Anyways, let's jump into Monday. morning it's Tuesday 27 days till Christmas and I have two patients today first is an exam in profi and my roommate is actually out of all the whole people in the D2 class and my class we ended up paired up together for like a vertical mentoring team so she's the one I have to do my assigned 
mentoring things with like she had to do anesthesia on two of my patients she has to do profies on two of my patients i haven't had a lot of profies i tend to refer them to our hygiene students because we kind of get credit for the collaboration and then i can focus on other general dentistry skills so i haven't had a lot this is the first one she's able to do so we're gonna do a mentored profi and exam bite wings all that this morning and then at 2 p.m i have another profi in between i'm gonna go meet with our faculty show her the preps that you all saw last night on number 14 make sure i'm on track and then i have two more teeth to practice with so at some point today i'll go and practice number eight and 14 because when you retake the cdca you have to redo everything in that section not just the tooth that you failed so i don't have to do perio or any of the pros again but i have to redo the anterior and the posterior endo even though i only failed the posterior so i want to make sure i'm still practicing both that way i'm prepared morning it's Wednesday and your roommate and I are about to go to a 7 a.m. strength class I'm all ready for that gonna have a quick breakfast before we go and then I have a patient in the morning and an endo rotation in the specialty clinic in the afternoon and I need to do a little bit more practice for boys. Coming at you from a part of dental school that not everyone sees unless you're really involved in student organizations, which is the Taft storage room. So each student org has like a bunch of stuff. And I just brought down these boxes for AGD. We're giving out Celsius as well as a few other goodies as kind of like a finals week care package. And my very sweet boyfriend dropped me off at school and helped me carry all of it down because there's a hundred cans of Celsius, which is very heavy. And now I'm going to go up into the clinics and practice for boards kind of to finish off this evening. And tomorrow's going to be super busy because I have a 9 a.m., 2 p.m., and 5 p.m. patient. And I may or may not do a 6.30 a.m. workout class before all of that, which would make it an exceptionally long day. But we'll kind of see how I'm feeling tonight when I go to bed, if I'm going to do that early wake up or not. And just to recap, I don't think I filmed anything Thursday because I had patients all day, 9 a.m., 2 p.m., and 5 p.m. So I had about a 30-minute lunch and then a 5 to 10-minute break before the 5 p.m. to have a little snack and some water. I delivered my first implant crown in the morning, and then at 2 p.m. I did a deep restoration that is to the pulp, so I'm going to try to do that root canal for the patient. I just have to pitch it basically to the endodontist supervisor at the school to see if it's okay for an undergrad case or if it needs to be done by a resident. 
so that would be cool if I get to do my second root canal at school. And the 5 p.m. was a patient's updated exam and profi. So it's Friday, I just left Prometric and I passed the CDCA DSE OSCE. How many letters can they put for one test? CDCA is the commission for dental examiners so like the board and then oski is objective structured clinical exam and then dse is diagnostic skills so a test under diagnostic skills the resources for studying that go around like i think every dental school class were very sufficient to pass this i really only studied for about a week nothing too intense just made sure i went through all of the quizlet and it was around 550 question quizlet and then I had two different quizlets I studied so a little over a thousand cards and that made me feel pretty prepared along with just reviewing some of the common info from my INBDE notes relative to like pharmacology and then I also was reviewing for that OSCE I told you we took last week all in this video at school is similar content because it's just like everything you should know about dentistry so when you're kind of reviewing the important things like pre-medications and pathologies and different drugs that patients might be on it all overlapped between all of the exams as for results of the OSCE at school it was 11 sections and I just have to redo one part of one section so not too bad I have a lot of friends and people that need to re redo a few sections so I'm feeling pretty confident about that and I know what I got wrong and what to say for the retake so I should have no problem passing that retake next week so all that's left is to go into school tomorrow morning and take my redo for endo clinical boards I didn't see any patients today I was just reviewing for this test and I did have to go into school for a kind of performance review with my faculty coach that's assigned to us and my patient care coordinator just going over my progress towards graduation if I had any requirements that I haven't done or any patients that are overdue or things that didn't get completed and anything that could basically get in the way of my graduation requirements but I am finished with all of my clinical requirements and everything is totally done for graduation and I'm not even done with fall semester yet so that's a great place to be in next week is the end of our semester and I honestly think I'm just gonna end off this video here you'll have to check out my Instagram to see if I pass the clinical boards retake tomorrow because I won't know for two to three more weeks for that result and I don't want to wait to post this video so make sure you're following me on Instagram let's just all cross our fingers that I do my very best and that my very best is passing this time so we'll see what happens but thank you all so so much for watching this video I hope it was interesting and I'll see you in the next one